All right, welcome back. We're in Adobe Illustrator and I'm doing a little case study on a design that caught my eye on a website called Dribble. So if you want to go and grab this image and follow along, I will provide a link down in the description. So we're gonna make something like this, which is a uh, kind of a copy or a trace of this logo that this designer made. So let's go and recreate this. Start with your pen tool. And I'm zooming in and zooming out with Command minus, that's to zoom out. Command plus is to zoom in. I'm using a Mac. If you're using something other than a Mac, you're probably gonna have to interchange that Command key that I'm using with the Control key. And you also wanna have your layer panel open. So go to Window and then Layers, and then you'll get something like this. You can also tear this off by grabbing the tab and bringing it over like this. All right, so I have a, a layer with my shirt here. Let me get rid of this one so I can recreate all this for you. So this image was placed in here. I went and downloaded it from the, the site that I found it at, and I placed it in here by going to File and then Place. Now the image is in here, so then I can select on it and go to my layer panel, and I can come over here to this empty spot between the little eyeball that toggles it on and off, and then the actual layer and the blue layer tag itself. So there's a little space right inside of here, click on that and it locks the whole image down to where now I can't edit it or I can't move it around at all. That's pretty helpful whenever you're trying to trace something or design over the top of it. So that's what we're going to do. Then hit this little new layer button right here and then double click on layer two. We're going to rename this. I'm just going to call it the working layer. Now hit P for pen and P on your keyboard is the keyboard shortcut for pen. The pen tool makes paths. If you just click click, 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 and then close it, it makes a shape like that. You can make a triangle, you can make all different kinds of shapes that you want to with the pen tool. If you want to make a curved path, you click once and release, and then your second point, you click hold and drag. If you want to keep continuing that, you just click and drag, click and drag back to the beginning. If you want to change from a curved path to a straight path, you click and drag, and then you click back on that last point to get rid of one of the handles that's jetting out of there. And now you can do a straight path from or off of that curve. So that's just a real quick rundown of the pen tool. Let me get my selection tool, highlight all that, and delete. So the first thing we're going to do is create this little shaka, this little hang loose thing, that little, you know, little um, surfer dude culture with the little hand symbol there. We're going to create that first. And that's pretty clever. The designer created the hand to look, a little shaka thing, to look like the W in Hawaii. So I thought that was really, really clever. So let's go, come over here to this logo here by um, zooming in with Command Plus, and I'm holding down the space bar to grab the screen and uh, drag this around. So holding down the space bar while dragging will help you pan and grab the screen and move it around. Zoom in a little bit closer. We're going to do this W first. So I'm going to hit the pen tool and start here. Click once and release click down here and release, come down past the curve here, click, hold, and drag. And then if, you're, if your path is hard to see, like mine is, come over here to your layer, and then go right to the right of the word working layer, or whatever yours is named. Click right here, double click. And then this little window pops up, and here's where we can change the color of the layer itself. So I'm gonna change this to something I can see better. Let's see, what would that be? Uh, let's say, how about cyan, which is kind of a real light blue. There we go. Now I can see that really, really well. And I'm just going to click, click. And another thing that's happening is this fill is coming across here. So I can come over here to my toolbox and then just cross out that fill. The quicker way to do that is by hitting the little question mark button on your keyboard. All right, so I'm going to keep clicking this. And then here to create curves, click, hold, and drag. Click once here, click, hold, and drag. Click, click click, click, and then complete the path. Now for these little fingers, I'm gonna click and release, and then I'm gonna click, hold, and drag to create a little bit of curvature for the knuckle. I'm gonna click back on this point I just created. See, you can see that it's trying to complete a curve, and if I come down here with that curve, you can see that it's, it's gonna be off. So I need to click back on that last point that I made to make an abrupt change, and that will give me a straight segment instead of curved. Now here for the tip of the finger, let me curve that a little bit click on that last point, click to close. So let's do that again. Click and release, click and drag to make a curve. Click that point, click here, click and drag. Click that point again and then close it. Now we'll do the same thing here. Whoops, I'm going the other direction, that's okay. Click, 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 hold and drag. Click that point and then close it. All right, so now if we get our selection tool, 
we now have a shaka. So click and drag around that whole thing with the selection tool. Just click and drag a box around that and then go to object and then group or command G or control G if you're using something other than a Mac and then hit V on your keyboard. That's going to get our selection tool and we're going to move this off to the side but you can't click and drag inside of the shaka. You have to actually select the path. So you need to click on the path, hold down your left mouse button and drag it over here. Then I'm going to hit I on my keyboard. I will give me an eyedropper tool that allows me to select any color that I want to that's visible on the canvas and it allows me to select that color and, and fill that shape over here with that, that corresponding color. So I'm going to click on the yellow color. I'm also going to come up here to file and then document mode color and make sure that my document mode color is on RGB which means red, green, and blue. And that's going to be really good for anything that's going to be visible on a screen, a computer screen, a mobile screen, or something like that. CMYK is going to be good for printing, so printing off on a shirt or on a brochure or a business card or something like that. All right, so the next thing that I want to tackle is the text. And I'm also going to show you how to convert text to outlines. The text that I'm dealing with here, I don't know if it's the exact same text that they use here with the Hawaii logo, but Myriad Pro seems to work out pretty good, so that's what I'm going to go with. And I think by default it comes with most operating systems. So Myriad Pro, and then I'm going to change that to Bold Condensed. And I'm going to type in one letter for this. So I'm going to just highlight all of this by clicking and dragging. And I'm going to hold down Shift and type in H. Then get my selection tool, and then scale this H up by grabbing the bottom right-hand corner handle there and scale this up, but I don't want it to be stretched out or squished like that, so I'm going to hold down Shift as I drag that. Okay, just try to drag it out as big as you think that H is there, and if you need to make it a little bit smaller, you can hold down Shift again while dragging that corner and try to get that same size. Hold down Alt now on your keyboard. That's next to your Command key, and then I'm just going to drag this over and drag it over again holding down Alt. Now hit T on your keyboard. That's your text tool again. Double click on this one and I'm going to make that an A. And then double click on this one, make it an A. Of course, I held down Shift while I typed in that A to make a capital A. And I can kind of move this around with my cursor or with my mouse here, or I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard to kind of nudge those around a little bit. All right, so there are my, my letters. These I's right here, these are lowercase, so I'm just gonna hit M, M on my keyboard, which is a rectangle tool like that. I'm just going to click and drag to make a skinny rectangle and then hit V on my keyboard then hold down Alt and drag that over here. Hold down Alt again and drag up another version of that rectangle but this time click and hold this handle. Whoops. Click and hold this handle and drag straight down. Hold down Alt and let's copy this over again. Okay cool. So now we have some text plus some rectangle shapes. Now these are shapes and these are text. You can see when I click on the text, I can't see points and paths on the edges here. That's because it's still live text. Um, what I need to do next is convert this live text to shapes so that I can move around the points and paths on the, on the text. So get your selection tool, hold down shift and select this A, and then hold down shift, still hold down shift, and select the H. So shift just allows you to select multiple shapes at the same time or add um, selections to your original selection. Then we're going to go to object and then down to actually we're going to go to type and then to create outlines. There we go. So now we have this. And I'm going to hold down I or, or uh, push I and then select that color there and then I can click and drag these over as well and I I drop that all right, so there we go. Let me select all of that, and I can kind of group that together if I want to. Object group, and then I'm also going to drag with M. I'm going to drag a rectangle, and I'm going to hit I to eye drop that color, and go to object arrange send to back, and there it is. There's that logo. Very very cool. That was pretty fast. Now if I want to modify this anymore, you can see that the H and the A and these I's, they're a little bit, um, you can see that they're they're made to look a little bit more playful or a little bit more whimsical. So we can add some points on here to the path 
and kind of adjust that a little bit. So if you want to do that, you can by holding down the pen tool, going to add anchor point tool, and you can just add in some anchor points to the H. I think we have to select it first, don't we? Yep. Okay, so select it, then go to the add anchor point tool, and then add in some points just to the edges here. We're going to kind of pull those around. You have to click right on the path or it gives you that error, you see? So click right on that path. And so any of these letters can be modified or any of these shapes can be modified by doing this. So add some points and get on the, click on the direct selection tool or hit A on your keyboard and just kind of move these around a little bit until you have a little bit of a misshapen H like that on some of the edges. Kind of move this in a little bit, move that down. So there you go. You can get the idea of how you can, you can kind of make that somewhat, uh, the edge is somewhat uneven, um, just like it was in the original logo. So really quick, that's a, a quick case study on how to make a, a logo, this Hawaii logo, with the little shaka as the W. I think it's a really clever logo. All right, that's all I have for you. I'll see you next time.